Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Ola from Mobile Wiz Tech. Today, I'm going to talk about this Ghoulie Kit, which could be used to dock a Nintendo Switch to a TV or a monitor. But I'm actually going to spend time today and demonstrate how this can be used to dock a USB Type C phone, such as your Note 10 or S20. And I'll also give you a tip on how to make this your best travel companion. And I'll get right into it right after this. Now, before I get started, if you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe and that notification bell button so that way you can stay up to date with my channel content. So real quick, this will be my first official WizTech Tip Tuesday video. And what I want to do is on Tuesdays, post tech tips that I can offer or tricks. Now, I'm not saying that I will be able to do this every Tuesday, but whenever I do have a tip or a trick to offer, it would be a Tuesday that I will post it. So just look out for those. And again, I'll do my best to make sure I can do it every Tuesday. But if not, just know whenever I do have a tip or a trick to offer, it'll be a Tuesday that I will post it. All right, so let's get right into this here. So as I mentioned earlier, this is the Gully Kit or Gully Kit. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. It's a dock for the Nintendo Switch, but again, it can be used for your USB Type-C, compatible USB Type-C smartphone or devices as well. Let's take a look at the back real quick. Support docking for smartphones, easy switch to TV and dock mode, portable use for charging dock too. USB 3.0 port and switch always keeps cooling through the air outlet. So, it has like an intake cooling ventilation system. So when your device is being docked, it will keep your device cool. So I do like that. So let's go ahead and open up this box. So I just took this out the box and now I have this. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this open here. And of course you have some information here, which I'm going to just put aside. And then here's the device itself. And then you have a USB type A to USB type C cable. I'm not sure if I'm going to need this or not, but you do see that there. I'm going to leave it in the box for now. All right, so here's the device here. Let's take a look at that. You got your ports. So you have your dock mode button, HDMI out, USB type A, and then your AC adapter. Uh, as you can see, it does not come with a plug. I'm actually going to use this here. And if you want more information regarding this plug, go ahead and check out that video right there. And you will see how this can charge up your device and um, serve as a good companion as well. But what I also like about this, this magnetic cover, so you just lift this up and then you can stick it on there. Probably turn it this way too. It may sit better. And then you just stick your device on there. Again, you can see it's USB-C. And it's relatively small. This thing is small, so. This is my Note 10, as you can see. Size comparison. So, and then you just stick your device right on top. Trying to do this from the camera angle, yeah, and and that's it. So I'm going to hook this up and then connect it to the monitor so that way you can see how everything looks. So now that I have this hooked up, I'm just going to go ahead and dock this. And then once I have it docked, I'll show you my monitor so you can see how everything looks. So one thing to keep in mind is that it's a good chance that this may not work if you have a case on it. So when I did stick it on here, it didn't even recognize that it was being docked. But when I took it out of the case, as I'm doing right now, that is being charged or docked. So there you have it. So more than likely, you may have to take it out of your case if it's too thick, but that's fine. So I actually decided to just hook it up to my TV. That way you can have a better view of it. But once you plug it in and have it all set up and you dock it, you should see this screen here. And you just tap continue, just like you would a regular Samsung DeX. 
and then tap start. So that's done. Now go to the source on your TV. That way you can see the screen. Oh, it also has this information here on how to access the touchpad when it's docked. But after seeing that and after you understand how to do so, just tap OK. And that will take care of that. And then go to the source on your TV or your monitor. That way you can have it showing what it needs to show. From here, you would just go, if you have it connected to your TV, you would just go to the source that the HDMI port is plugged into. But if it's on your monitor, it should be straightforward there. Now, what I use to navigate is this Bluetooth mini keyboard and it charges via micro USB. The battery life on this is really, 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 really good. And it pretty much will act as my remote. So you have the keyboard, it's all backlit. And um, you have your touchpad right here. So many features on here. Really, really nice. And again, it'll act as my remote. Along with all of this stuff, these things will make a great travel companion. So you wouldn't need to take your Roku or your Fire Stick with you. You could have all your apps on your phone, your Fire Stick apps, all your streaming apps, which I will not name <laughs> all of those streaming apps that they have out there, but you could have all those apps, your VPN or whatnot, and then connect everything via the Gully Kit to your TV and not worry about using the hotels, Wi-Fi, or if the maybe the Wi-Fi connection is really bad, everything will come from your phone. So this would be a remote. Again, the range is really nice, very responsive. And you will see this in a moment here. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and turn it on. As you see there, it says turn on. So if you want to change the wallpaper like I just did, you would just go into settings like you would. And again, I know some of this is really, really basic. If you want to tap or open up an app, you will double tap. And then I'll go to Samsung Dex and then wallpapers. Tap here. And again, this is all basic stuff. So, I mean, if you had a Samsung desk, you already know how this works. I just thought I'd do a quick overview. If you want to see all of the apps, you can just go down here. Oh, real quick, let me go back to settings. So, um, if you want to go through a screen, double tap. Let's say you want to see the rest of this. On here, you would just tap over here, these arrows to navigate. If you want to get through the rest of the screen, just come over here and then just press. And as you can see, it goes down through the screen. But let's show you the apps real quick so you can see all the apps. Again, I know a lot of this is basic stuff. So again, if I wanted to see my apps, I would just go ahead and you can see my pointer right here. Tap this here. And of course you sell your apps. So if you have your stream apps, you just go ahead and tap it and boom, you're playing it. So uh, I do like this a lot and it will make your life easier while you're on the road or when you're traveling. So again, this is the Gully Kit and I will have a link posted in the description for this and as well as the other items as well if you're interested. Make sure that you do have an HDMI cable. But again, all of these are available on Amazon. Please use the link in the description as it does help me out. If you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. Also share and subscribe. I thank you for watching and until next time, keep it mobile.